सादेव की सर्व जगन निवास निवास भूता नितराम नरेज भोजेंद्र गेहे अग्निशिखे वोद्धा सरस्वती ज्ञान खले यथा सती देवकी देन केप विद इन हर सेल्फ द सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड द कॉज ऑफ ऑल कॉजेस द फाउंडेशन ऑफ द एंटायर कॉस्मोस बट बिकॉज शी वॉज under arrest in the house of kamsa she was like the flames of a fire covered by the walls of a fort or like the person who has knowledge But cannot distribute it to the world for the benefit of human society. Poor boy. In the wars, the word "jana khala" is most significant. knowledge is meant for distribution although there is already much scientific knowledge <coughs> whenever scientists or philosophers awaken to a particular type of knowledge they try to distribute it throughout the world or otherwise the knowledge gradually dries up and no one benefits from it India has the knowledge of Bhagavad Gita but unfortunately for some reason or other this sublime knowledge of the science of god was not distributed throughout the world although it is mean for all of human society therefore krishna himself appeared at sri chaitanya mahaprabhu and ordered all indians to take up cause of distributing <laughs> the knowledge of bhagavad gita throughout the entire world yare dekha tare kaha krishna upadesh amara agnyay guru hona tare desh instruct everyone to follow the orders of lord sri <laughs> krishna as they are given in bhagavad gita and shrimad bhagavatam in this way become a spiritual master 
and try to liberate everywhere. Try to liberate everyone in the land. Although India has the sublime knowledge of Bhagavad Gita, Indians have not done their proper duty of distributing Bhagavad Gita. Now, therefore, the Krishna Consciousness Movement has been set up to distribute the knowledge as it is without distortion. Although previously there were attempts to distribute the knowledge of Bhagavad Gita. These attempts involved distortion and compromise with mundane knowledge. But now the Krishna Consciousness Movement without mundane compromises is distributing Bhagavad Gita as it is and people are deriving the benefits of awakening to Krishna consciousness and becoming devotees of Lord Krishna. Therefore, the proper distribution of knowledge has begun by which not only will the whole world benefit, but India's glory will be magnified in human society. Kamsa tried to arrest Krishna consciousness within the house with the result that Kamsa with all his opulences was later vanquished. Similarly, the real knowledge of Bhagavad Gita was being choked by unscrupulous Indian leaders with the result that India's culture and knowledge of the Supreme were being lost. Now, or because Krishna consciousness is spreading the proper use of 
Bhagavad Gita is being attempted. Tam Vichya Kamsa Prabhayajitantaram Virojiantim Bhavanam Suchishmitam Ahaishme Pranaharo Harir Guham Prabham Sutho Yanna Pureyami Dushi Because the Supreme Personality of Godhead was within her womb. Devaki illuminated the entire atmosphere in the place where she was confined. Seeing her jubilant, pure and smiling, comes a thought. The Supreme Personality of Godhead, Vishnu, who is now within her, will kill me. Devaki has never before looked so brilliant and jubilant. Whenever and wherever there is a decline in religious practice or descendant of Bharata and a predominant rise of pure religion at that time I descend myself in this age at the present moment <coughs> there are inordinate discrepancies in the discharge of human duties human life is mean for God realization. But unfortunately, the materialistic civilization is stressing only the senses of the body, not understanding the living force within the body as clearly stated in Bhagavad Gita within the body is the body's proprietor the living force which is more important. But human society has become so fallen that instead of understanding the living force within the body, people have become busy with external things. This is a discrepancy in human 
duties. Therefore, Krishna has taken birth or taken shelter within the womb of the Krishna consciousness movement. Men of Kamsa's class, therefore, are very much afraid and are busy trying to stop this movement, especially in the Western countries. One politician has remarked that the Krishna consciousness movement is spreading like an epidemic and that if not checked immediately, within 10 years, it may capture governmental power. There is, of course, such potency in the Krishna consciousness movement as stated by authorities Kali Kale Name Rupe Krishna Avatar in this age Krishna has appeared in the Hare Krishna Mahamantra the Krishna consciousness movement is spreading like wildfire all over the world and it will go on doing so. Men who are like Kamsa are very much afraid of the movement's progress and acceptance by the younger generation. But as Krishna could not be killed by Kamsa. This movement cannot be checked by men of Kamsa's class. The movement will go on increasing more and more provided the leaders of the movement remain firmly Krishna conscious by following the regulative principles and the primary activities of chanting the Hare Krishna mantra regularly. Yadarth Tantro Navihanti Vikramam Istriyaha Swasur Guru Matya Vadhoyam Yasha Shriyam Antinu Kalma Yo Comes thought What is my duty now? The Supreme Lord who knows his purpose? Paritranai Sadhunam Vinasai Chadishkita will not give up his prowess. Devki is a woman. She is my sister. And moreover, she is now pregnant. If I kill her, my reputation 
opulence and duration of life will certainly be vanquished according to the vedic vedic principles a woman a brahman an old man a child and a cow should never be killed it appears that kamsa although a great enemy of supreme personality of godhead was aware of the vedic culture and conscious of the fact that the soul trans migrates from one body to another and that one suffers in the next life according to the kamsas karmas sorry according to the karmas of this life therefore he was afraid of killing devaki since she was a woman she was his sister and she was pregnant a kshatriya becomes famous by performing heroic acts but what would be heroic about killing a woman who while confined in his custody was under his shelter therefore he did not want to act drastically by killing devaki kamsa's enemy was within devaki's home but killing an enemy in such a nascent state would not be an exhibition of prowess according to kshatriya rules an enemy should be fought face to face and with proper weapons then if the enemy is killed the victor becomes famous kamsa very conscientiously deliberated upon these <coughs> facts and therefore refrain from killing devaki although he was completely confident that his enemy had already appeared within her room sa esa jeevan khalu sampareto vartet yo atyant nrisansitena dehe mrityam 
मनुजा शपंती जनता तमो अंधम तनुमानिनो ध्रुवम ए पर्सन हु इज वेरी क्रूएल इज रिगार्डेड एज डेड इवन वाइल लिविंग फॉर वाइल ही इज लिविंग or after his death everyone condemns him and after the death of a person in the bodily bodily concept of life he is undoubtedly transferred to the hell known as andhatma purport kamsa considered that if he killed his sister while living he would be condemned by everyone and after death he would go to the darkest region of elish life because of his cruelty it is said that a cruel person like a butcher is advised not to leave and not to die a cruel person <laughs> while living a cruel person creates a hellish condition for his next birth and therefore he should not leave but he is also advised not to die because after death he must go to the darkest region of hell thus in either circumstance he is condemned kamsa therefore having good sense about the signs of the souls transmigration deliberately refrain from killing devaki in this verse the words 
गंता तमो नधम तनु मानिनो ध्रुवम आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड रिक्वायर एक्सपेंसिव अंडरस्टैंडिंग श्रीला जीव गोस्वामी इन हिज वैष्णवा तोषमी चीता से त्र तनु मानिन पापिन देहात्मा बुद्धव प्रभाभु निवेशो भवती त्र तनु मानिन पापिन देहात्मा बुद्ध पापा भी निवेशो भवती वन हु लीव्स इन द बॉडली कंसेप्ट थिंकिंग आई एम दिस बॉडी इन्वॉल्व हिम सेल्फ बाय द वेरी नेचर ऑफ दिस कंसेप्शन इन अ लाइफ ऑफ सिंफुल एक्टिविटीज एनी वन लिविंग इन सच ए कंसेप्शन इज टू बी कंसिडर ए कैंडिडेट फॉर हेल्थ आदंता गभीर विशतम कमिशनम पुनः पुनः चर्वित चर्वनानम वन हु इज इन ए बॉडिली कंसेप्ट ऑफ लाइफ हैज नो कंट्रोल ओवर सेंस ग्रेटिफिकेशन सच ए पर्सन can do anything simple to eat drink be merry and enjoy a life of sense gratification not knowing of the soul's trans migration from one body to another such a person does whatever he likes whatever he imagines and therefore being subject to the laws of nature he suffers miserably again and again in a different material bodies kriyas tavat idam mano vai karmatmakam karmatmakam yena sharira bandha in the bodily concept of life a person is कर्मानुबंध और कंडीशन बाय कर्मा एंड एज लॉन्ग एज द माइंड इज एब्जॉर्ब इन कर्मा वन मस्ट एक्सेप्ट ए मटेरियल बॉडी शरीर बंधा bondage to the material body is a source misery klesha da na sadhu manye yata atmano yam asna api klesha da asadhe ha although the body is temporary 
it always gives one trouble in many ways but human civilization is now unfortunately based on tanu mani tanu mani means the bodily concept of life by which one thinks i belong to this nation i belong to this group i belong to that group and so on each of us has his own ideas and we are becoming increasingly involved individually socially communally and nationally in the complexities of karmanubandha sinful activities for the maintenance of the body men are killing so many other bodies and becoming implicated in karmanubandha therefore shri la jeev go swami says that tanumani those in the bodily concept of life are papi sinful persons for such sinful persons the ultimate destination is the darkest region of elish life ganto tamo nadam in particular a person who wants to maintain his body by killing animals is most sinful and cannot understand the value of spiritual life in bhagavad gita the lord says tan adam dushatah kruran samsare su naradhaman shipamay ajashram asubham asuraisva eva yonisu asurimi yonim apanna mudha janmani janmani mudha janmani janmani mam araparapyaiva kaunteya tato yanta adamam gatim those who are envious and mischievous who are the lowest among men are cast by me into the ocean of material existence into various demoniac species of life attaining a repeated birth among the species of demoniac life such persons can never approach me gradually they sink down to the most abominable type of existence a human being is meant to 
understand the value of human life which is a boon obtained after many many births therefore one must free oneself from tanu manu the bodily concept of life and realize the supreme personality of god ईति घोरत्मा स्वयं प्रभु आस्ते प्रतीक्षंग्रस्त जन्म वैरानुबंधित सुखदेव गोस्वामी से डेलिबरेटिंग इन दिस वे कंसा ऑल दो डेटरमाइन to continue in enmity towards the supreme personality of god refrain from the vicious cling of his sister he decided to wait until the lord was born and then to then do what was needed asine samvitishtham bhunjan paryatan mahim chintayano hispe sumavashat tanmayam jagat asina sarvisham istham bhunjan paryatan mahim chintayano जगत वाइल सिटिंग ऑन इज थ्रोन और इन हिज सिटिंग रूम वाइल लाइन ऑन हिज बेड और indeed while situated anywhere and while eating sleeping or walking kamsa saw only his enemy the supreme lord rishikesha in other words by thinking of his all pervading enemy kamsa become unfavorably krishna conscious sridhar <laughs> rupa goswami has described the finest pattern of devotional services as anukulayena krishnanu silanam or cultivating krishna consciousness favorably kamsa of course was also krishna conscious but because he regarded krishna as his enemy even though he was fully absorbed in krishna consciousness his krishna consciousness was not favorable for his existence krishna consciousness favorably cultivated makes one completely happy so much so that a krishna conscious person 
does not consider cavalier sukham or merging into the existence of krishna to be a great gain kaivalyam narakayate for a krishna conscious person even merging into the existence of krishna or brahma as impersonalists aspire to do is uncomfortable कैवल्यम नरकायते दिशा वृक्ष पुष्पायते कर्मीज हैंकर्ड टू बी प्रमोटेड टू द हेवेनली प्लैनेट्स बट अ कृष्णा कंसस पर्सन कंसीडर्स such promotion a will for the wish good for nothing dantendriya kala sarp patali prokta damastayate yo try to control their senses and thus become happy but a krishna conscious person neglects the methods of yoga he is unconcerned with the greatest of enemies the senses which are compared to snakes for a krishna conscious person who is cultivating krishna consciousness favorably the happiness conceived by the karmis jnanis and yogis is treated as less than a pig kamsa however because of cultivating krishna consciousness in a different way that is inimically was uncomfortable in all the affairs of his life whether sitting sleeping walking or eating he was always in danger in danger this is the difference between a devotee and a non devotee a non devotee or atheist also cultivates god consciousness by trying to avoid god in everything for example so called scientists who want to create life by a combination of chemicals regard the external material elements as supreme 
such scientists do not like the idea that life is part and parcel of the supreme lord as clearly stated in bhagavad gita mama vansho jeev loke jeev bhuta the living entities do not arise from a combination of material elements such as earth water air and fire but are separated oceans of the supreme personality of godhead if one can then understand the position of the living entity as a separated portion of the supreme personality of godhead by studying the nature of the living entity one can understand the nature of the supreme god since the living entity is a fragmental sample of the body but because atheists are not interested in god consciousness they are to be happy by cultivating krishna consciousness in various unfavorable ways wow. although kamsa was always absorbed in thoughts of hari wow the supreme personality of godhead he was not happy a devotee however whether sitting on a throne or beneath a tree is always happy rupa goswami resigned from office as a government minister to sit beneath a tree yet he was happy tatva turnam asesa mandalapati shrenim sada tuchavat he did not care for his comfortable position as minister he was happy even beneath a tree in vrindavana favorably serving the supreme personality of god this is the difference between a devotee and a non devotee for a non devotee the world is full of problems whereas for a devotee the entire world is full of happiness yeah. 
विश्व पूर्ण सुखयाते विधि महेन्द्रादिशयते यत्ण्य कटाक्ष तम गौरम इवास्तुम चैतन्य चरित This comfortable position of a devotee can be established by the mercy of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Yes, means that though na dukhe na guru na api vichaliyate. Even when a devotee is superficially put into great difficulty. He is never disturbed. Brahma bhavasya tadvetya muni vir narada divi devay sanu chare sakam vir vir vishan madyan. Lord Brahma and Lord Shiva, accompanied by great sages like Narada, Devata and Vyasa, and by other demigods like Indra, Chandra, Varuna, invisibly approached. the room of devaki where they all joined in offering their respectful obeisances and prayers to please the supreme personality of godhead who can bestow blessings upon everyone देर आर टू क्लासेस ऑफ मेन द दैवाज एंड द असुराज एंड देर इज ए ग्रेट डिफरेंस बिटवीन दैम Kamsa, being an asura, was always planning how to kill the supreme personality of Godhead or his mother. Thus, he was also Krishna conscious, but devotees are Krishna conscious. Favorably, Vishnu Bhakta ha smrto deva. Brahma is so powerful that he is in charge of creating an entire universe. Yet he personally came to receive. the supreme personality of godhead bhava lord shiva is always jubilant in chanting the holy name of the lord and what to speak of narada narada muni bajaye bina radhika ramana name Narada Muni is always chanting the glories of the Lord, and his engagement is to travel all over the universe and find a devotee or make someone a devotee. Even a hunter was. Made a devotee by the grace 
of Narada. Srila Sanatana Goswami in his Toshini says that the word Narada Adhibhihi means that Narada and the demigods were accompanied by other saintly persons like Sanaka and Sanatana, all of whom came to congratulate or welcome the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Even though Kamsa was planning to kill Devaki, he too awaited the arrival of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Pratikshams Tajjanmana. Satya Pratham, Satya Param, Prisatyam, Satya Syayonim, Nihitam, Chasatya, Satya Sya Satya Brita Satya Netram, Satya Atmakam, Twam Saranam, Prapanna, Satya Pratham, Satya Param, Prisatyam, Satya Sayonim Nihitam Chasatye Satya Sya Satya Mrita Satya Nitram Satyat Makam Twam Saranam Prapanna Satya Pratam Satya Param Trisatyam Satya Sayonim Nihitam Chasatye Satya Sya Satya Mrita Satya Nitram Satyat Makam Twam Saranam Prapanna Jai Jai Shri Narayana